Hi, I'm Alex Koloskov, your FortiG instructor, and uh, today I'll tell you about uh, our way to do-it-yourself shooting table. Basically, the way that we shoot uh, most of our items on uh, uh, kind of tabletop items is done this way. It was many questions, repeatable questions of how uh, I set up that uh, shooting table, do-it-yourself shooting table, so I decided uh, to record this. This video is made for Studio Basics uh, interactive program on 40G. Uh, this is a program, if you didn't hear about it before. Uh, this program for photographers who starting in studio, you know, working with still life, jewelry, liquids, and uh, it's interactive program. Beside tons of uh, tutorials that we have there, uh, we do every uh, week some kind of challenge, or it may be, uh, well, different things uh, where you can watch a tutorial, and then submit your work, and then receive a critic with instructor. So it's interaction. Uh, check it out on 40G, it's a Studio Basics program. So, do-it-yourself table. Do-it-yourself table, it's really simple. The video is really short, actually. This is how we make it. I'm using either baby wall plate, that's how it's called. Uh, this is from Impact, uh, there are from Manfrotto Avenger uh, plate, a very little difference. This metal plate, it's about from 15 to 20 dollars on bndhphotovideo.com and uh, you connect this plate to any studio stand, for example like this C stand, right? What I also do, I put sticky pads if I need to make it remo removable. Uh, this is double-sided si double sticky pads and you see there is a problem when I put anything with paper, for example like this nice plexiglass, it comes covered on both sides with protective paper. Uh, I usually use only one side first and then when it uh, gets really scratchy, uh, I'm using another side. So if I put it this way, you see what happens, uh, the paper gets stuck. That's not a good idea. It's better to use uh, plastic and it works perfectly. It holds uh, weight very well uh, for relatively small tabletop uh, surfaces, basically pieces uh, if you have uh, not large items. And uh, if you have larger items, what you can do is this. Again, easy, obvious solution, I would say. You screw in that the same plate, wall plate, baby wall plate, uh, onto or into any uh, piece of, uh, uh, well, this is basically wood, right? And uh, then, for example, this I'm using to put a laptop when I should tether it, when I need it. Same thing uh, without uh, this uh, form. I can put much larger sheet of uh, aluminum, plexiglass, anything I want, and uh, it holds even more weight, right? This way. Also, sometimes you may have a different a different stand, studio stand, for example, like this one, okay? This is the background stand, and instead of a pin, on this side it has a hole, okay? And uh, there is very similar plate, again with double-sided scotch, if it needs to be removable, because this one is a permanent solution, right? It goes this way uh, for on a background stand. And what's cool about this, you can rotate it. Sometimes, uh, well, usually you can rotate the camera, there is no need to rotate a table. Uh, however, sometimes it's cool when you can rotate a table a little bit. There are different uh, applications for this, but for example, sometimes I pour water on a shooting surface on a table and uh, I need it to be rotated a little bit. Or, for example, if I shoot jewelry, uh, I have a little, very little, smaller than this uh, plate, where I'll say I have a ring attached, and I'm shooting with lots of uh, light modifiers around, so it's not easy to rotate the camera because it's kind of, it's gonna touch the lighting setup. So in this case, I can rotate my subject instead without touching any, you know, light modifiers, without touching camera. Uh, just uh, for you to 
consider uh, this type of plates. So it's either baby pin wall plate or just a baby wall plate. You attach anything on top and uh, voila, you have a shooting table. Already, for more tutorials, uh, visit 40g.com. We have tons of free tutorials and uh, for serious photographers, we have two different programs, Studio Basics and Pro Club. Check them out and uh, for don't forget to subscribe because new videos are coming soon. That was Alex Koloskov, your 40G instructor. Bye.